how to power the Cat XP nut on any FPV drone without soldering any wires. That coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone-related content, but we also do some photography-related content as well, if that's something you're interested in. Considering that subscribe button, it's greatly appreciated. Also, hit that thumbs up button. It helps the algorithm out a whole lot and gets us more traffic here on the channel. All right, so if you're like me, you have multiple FPV drones. You've got this new Caddx Peanut that you want to mount. Uh, speaking of mounting, uh, this is our Caddx Peanut mount uh, that mounts to any GoPro mount. So if you want to mount it landscape or portrait, it's your choice. Uh, links for that will be down in the description below. Again, if you're like me, you have multiple FPV drones and they only unfortunately give you a couple different uh, connectors to be able to solder to your flight controller. Uh, so you're really limited to the number of uh, cables that you got. You can obviously purchase more of these, but soldering these up on every single one of your drones can be somewhat of a pain. So one of the solutions that we've come up with, if you've seen any of our past videos, we have talked about this cable before. This is a cable by iFlight. It goes from a balance lead uh, for four to six cell to a USB-C connection. This is traditionally made for charging GoPros, but it will also work in the case of the uh, Caddx Peanut. So if you're familiar with how the Peanut works, uh, they include several of these magnetic adapters. This is the one they intend for you to use on your Caddx Peanut when using it on an FPV drone. Uh, you would, again, solder one of these small cables up to your flight controller to a five volt pad, and then plug that into this, and then connect that on. But what we're gonna do instead Instead of using this connector, we're going to use the one that we use for charging and file transfer along with this iFlight cable. Simply plug that in, clip that onto the back of the Caddx Peanut, and then all we need to do is plug in any 4 to 6 cell LiPo pack. You'll see that this light comes on on there, and now you will also see that the charging light comes on on the front. We can simply then operate the Caddx Peanut how we normally would. It's now powered on. And it is now recording. So really we can use the Caddx Peanut until our flight pack runs out. So obviously the entire duration of your flight, it will charge the camera um, and you're good to go. So even if you're running a, a long range quad where you're getting you know 20 to 30 minutes of flight time, it will continuously charge the Caddx Peanut that entire time. So that is it for this one, guys. If you found this video helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. Also hit that thumbs up button. Links for the products shown are in the description below for both the RTPU Caddx Peanut mount as well as the iFlight cable that we demonstrated today. So that's it, fly safe and bye for now.